Sup, my dudes, and welcome to O Game. Now I know it has been a long time, a really long time since the last stream to did any video upload, and uh, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, I miss you guys. I miss you all. <laughs> so the thing is, I I made an announcement on my channel itself. I said that I'm having trouble with my internet connection, and um, <clears throat> I used to have a five gigahertz whatever connection, which. Uh, allowed me to stream with a stable connection without problems, but now uh, we're having some problems with our modem, whatever. Uh, so the connection is a bit shit, so to say. But um, yeah. Anyway, so I was I was playing Astro Empires, if you guys remember. And uh, let me just start this. Right? Okay. They haven't confirmed yet. What? <clears throat> Anyhow, whatever, I can't conf confirm my account right now, I don't know what the hell is going on, but, uh, um, yeah, I guess we'll plug it by Galatia, apparently, right now, it's the most active one, I guess, with 2400 play, whatever, so O Game, uh, it's just like Astro Empires, but I think O Game is a bo m much more simple, simpler, and, um, Actually, let me get uh, let me start tutorials here. Uh, it's it's not as much it's not as complex as Astro Empires. Like you don't have a lot of different shit. You know what I mean? Uh, here it's just you have your crystal factories. I don't know whatever. But it has been really long since I last played, so it might be that there has been a lot of changes. So hold on, welcome to the old game. Why are you here? This is during the course of the game. Okay, we don't need to read it. We just need the objectives. Now our first task here is... Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention <laughs> before we started. Uh, I was going to say, so yeah, my internet connection, etc. So I, I can't stream any uh, right now. Well, I could stream, but you know, there's always this risk of uh, unstable connections so you guys won't be as, uh, enjoying it as much. But uh, I also announced that I'm going to get a new PC next month, hopefully. So I'll get into more edit editing, into better editing, um, especially getting back to Adobe Premiere, which I always wanted to continue to uh, learn and um, learn the ed editing and shit. But my current laptop doesn't allow it because it's really low. It o overheats a, a lot quicker than I expected. and. Um, so I can't really work with that. So once I get my new PC, hopefully I get some into some real editing. Uh, we'll see. So all of that next month. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this game. Okay. So to, exp to expand your home planet, you first of all will need enough resources. You can produce these via mines. Yeah, the, those mines, crystal mines, crystal metal mines, whatever. Secure your basic supply by expanding your metal and crystal mines. Please know that the upkeep of supply buildings use a lot of energy. You can produce energy. Oh yeah, of course, solar energy. Um, where is that? Uh, here. Energy. Upgrade metal mine to level four. And crystal mine to level two. And we have solar power plant to level four. War. Okay, let's get let's get to the facilities. Facilities. And he said. Um, oh, wait a second. Resources? Oh yeah, resources. Metal mine to four, and solar mine to... So, we could need a solar plant right now, and this will take 20 seconds or something. Uh, it gives me a The first steps will give me a bit of time to uh, talk and shit, but uh, once we're a whole step further, uh, I'll probably have to make the upgrades first, and then um, inform you guys of what happened, what I did as next uh, steps and st stuff. So, metal mine. Let's do a metal mine next. We have to improve to level one. We have we already have 442 production duration. Yeah, 50, 15 seconds is like nothing. While we do that, we'll check our facilities, merchants. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this game has a lot of pay to shit stuff like bl black. Dark matter, so dark matter is literally 
paid away in a certain amount. <laughs> it's not holding you back to you know do shit. It's just once the uh, once once a player decides to attack you and shit with his whole fleet, uh, you're a bit outnumbered. But I mean, you can again you can build alliances and shit. So uh, it it you can it does it's not like oh I'm I'm lost like all these pay to win guys are gonna win or something. That's what I mean. Okay, so we got another one. Let's do the crystal mine. Uh, we have we still have enough energy here. And also, my home world is apparently. Oh yeah, you can you can manage your uh, mines. Like if you have, if you don't have enough energy, you can put it to ninety percent, seventy percent, so you can manage your energy and shit. All your uh, mines, your bases whatever so that they don't use too much resources etc and my planet is a 40 to 80 degree that's like a normal habitable planet like 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 earth i guess and uh where's my background though i thought there was more to the background here whatever uh we got Level 2, we don't need Deuterium yet, Deuterium, do, I don't know how do you guys fucking uh, pronounce it, but I say Deuterium, uh, is, um, is required for fuel, so De Deuterium synth synthesizers are like for your ships and stuff, when you're gonna build your own ships here. Your fighters, live fighters, you have heavy fighters, and um, you will need fuel for them to travel to places, etc. Here we have our cruisers, we have our, our uh, battle cruisers and uh, battleship. For some reason, battle cruisers are much better than battleships. Although I don't know, I mean, battleships need a lot more metal, though. To be, a, be I guess they're more. Um, how should I say it? Robust, so I think they can take more hits, and battle crews just have more weaponry or something. Of course, then you have the bomber, which I don't understand. Like, are those fucking uh, like bomber fighter bombers, or I don't think those are fighter bombs. Like, I think this is literally um, how you call that uh, planet. Oh shit. A planet. <clears throat> I know if you guys have played Sins of Solar Empire, um, there's this Corvo Siege frigate which bomb bombs planets, and I think this is something like that. A Siege frigate or something. I know why they called it Bomber. Uh, just because of the classes, also destroyer. Like, oh, dude, dest destroyers are meant to be like below cruisers, but here cruisers are like frigates. Uh, destroyers are like actual battle cruisers. They kind of mixed up the uh, classes. I don't know why. Of course, then you have the Death Star. <laughs> Cargo ship, small cargo, large cargo. If it's a colony ship, of course, it colonizes the planets. Then you have the recycler. You have a recycler in Sins of Solar Empire 2, so it's like harvesting debris fields. You have espionage probe, which you're gonna need if you wanna know what the player has or what a what a if a pla if a planet is uh, already conquered or not. And of course, all sat satellites to build more. Uh, energy right now we are we are minus 28 energy so we're gonna build another s solar plant also so during the times if, if I'm gonna stay on the oh hold on what the hell what happened I, I can't build anymore so <clears throat> When you see like 40 seconds and I'm like, I'm going to wait until that. I'll probably just fast forward for you guys so you don't have to watch 
all that thing. But if I'm talking, of course, I'm gonna leave that part in. But uh, okay. So we need uh, metal mines. Uh, so, but but we 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 don't have enough metal. Oh, I see it. Now we have to. We're at minus two percent energy. That's not good. I have to manage energy here. Okay, so we use too much thing. We need metal, so I'm gonna put it back to eighty percent and see if I'm grabbing more energy. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna put it on fifty percent. Recalculate. Right? Oh, perfect. This is perfect. Okay. Now I have ten energy, and we'll get plus metal but that'll take a while anyhow while i'm doing this i have to talk about something since my channel has the name lancer in it of course it's from freelancer and um i proposed something on discovery freelancer last last time and uh, that was that was about to set rp roleplay requirements which i talked about <clears throat> stuff um like stuff to do like a guide sorry a guide that devs or admins whatever on the forums to uh let us know like what we have to do as a faction or as individuals to like let's say conquer a, a base or destroy a base like to construct a battle group to be like like let's say you need four shipyards like, like here, like this is a good example. Like, you need four shipyards to build a cruiser or something. You know, you need six shipyards to build a battleship. You, you need one shipyard to build a destroyer or something. Gumboat and shit. And uh, so, so all those sets, also ground forces. Like, if if anyone would like ca calculate who has like which faction has. How many units, which factions, how many battleships, and such. And so we could like start doing in game, uh, in on forum roleplay, like here, like O game. Like imagine this as a role playing platform. So uh, you're, you're building research labs, you're building, uh, you know, you're researching guns, etc. And uh, each of those give you more points to uh, in a fleet, in a battle, whatever. Uh, you can you can build more fighters and stuff, you know. Just in role play, uh, of course, in game it's a bit different. And then in game, the devs would implement all those progression and shit, like small progression. Of course, it, it ha it'll have to be supervised, so we don't go overboard, like with a, you know, ganking fleet, whatever. But uh, still, uh, if if we had something like this, you know, we we start a war with someone and. Uh, while we role play with these people, we 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 have numbers like we have, you know we have fifty cargos we can send in to drop men on the on their planets etc. Like you know if you do a planetary siege, did you have um you have like let's say capital planets like Manhattan have eight outposts on it where you have to conquer all of eight in order to uh, fully overthrow like fully conquer the planet itself so capital planets like manhattan and shit would be a lot harder to get but like outside of a main homeworld planets that have like maybe two outposts are easier to conquer etc and uh that would be nice if you had a set because i said again like <laughs> what <laughs> eastern eastern shit okay i, I see you because so I said again, we are limited. We are limited in Freelancer. Everyone knows. Everyone knows we have a limited engine. The Freelancer engine is limited. So we had this roleplay shit implemented so that we have more freedom to do stuff. Because, uh, I mean, most of it is just text and shit, you know. But uh, if, if you're going to have that limitation, I, I would have hoped that the devs and uh, admins, whatever, game masters now, would kind of give us a opportunity to be like, hey guys, okay, we have this limited engine, but if you roleplay and shit, uh, we're gonna help you feel that, like, n not feel that limitation. So it's like, uh, 
we, we're doing in-game activity but plus roleplay and shit and then on each small updates uh, that would get implemented like our progression and shit so we would actually at least we at least wouldn't feel that much limited like we, we because we can't take over base in game uh but like with role play and shit um efforts and stuff we'd get it on the next update and uh, people would f have this feeling to um role play on the forums and in game uh, like i said if you had a platform like old game astro empires in role play i don't see you make something like this but uh, uh, in roleplay, uh, I also think pe people will um, roleplay a lot on forums because, you know, you have this, uh, what was it called? Turn-based strategy game. Uh, like you guys maybe remember on Empire Total War, uh, Medieval Total War, when you play the campaign and shit. When you, like, you have, you, you can do that much in one turn and uh, then it's like the uh, enemies. Uh, turn so it's kind of like you, you do your one move or stuff in role play and then on the next response it's your enemy's move so uh but he can't he, but th that's the thing if you limit it to numbers like what ships you have what ground forces you have you can say he can only do that much in one move because he only has that much uh cruises and battleships whatever so you, you had ha you'd ha you'd have a balanced turn you know it's not like your enemy can just uh blast your whole fleet in one uh roleplay response because he needs the necessary force etc uh numbers and shit but yeah uh i guess we'll have to wait until we have like a hundred what 135 metal so i'll do that on the next episode but uh let me know what you think about the uh, roleplay environment in free and discovery and i think we can talk about it while I play this game, uh, since I can't record any anything else right now, because, yeah, my laptop. Um, so let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you like, if you've liked this video, subscribe, watch other videos. I, I did a small, like, three to four episodes on Astro Empires, if you want to see how that game is. Of course, these are all browser games and shit, but yeah, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.